It happens every day to hundreds of people all over the world. These are their accounts. I'm Tom Waters, and this is Real Life Stories of People Shitting Their Pants. The year is 1999, the place, Deerfield, Illinois, where young Scott Yakishin is about to learn that sometimes in life, you make a little boom boom. I can remember just about every detail from that day. I was walking to the locker with my friend David. When you're 16 and in high school, you feel invincible. You don't think something like pooping in your pants could happen to you, but... I was cocky and I paid the price. What happened next would change Scott's life forever. What was supposed to be a discreet passing of gas, an expulsion of wind that would go unnoticed, well, it turned out to be so much more. Eighth period was starting in about five minutes, so I just told David to go on ahead without me. I don't think he ever really knew what happened. Oh yeah, I knew. It was obvious. Bewildered and confused, Scott proceeded to call his father, a sales representative for the Duraco Corporation. The phone call was recorded. What is this, Sprite? Hello? Dad, it's me! I... I went in my pants. Number one or number two? What's pooping again? Number two. Then I went number two in my pants. Don't worry, this happens to the best of us. Oh, hell no, I've never soiled my khakis. Come on now. I'm a man. Scott's father had agreed to pick him up from school. But Scott wasn't in the clear just yet. Thinking fast, Scott changed from his soiled garments into his gym issue shorts, a decision that, while risky, might have saved Scott's life. Today, Scott's life has returned to normal. He lives in his Chicago home with his parents and has never kissed a girl. Still, memories from that fateful day haunt him. You know, it's, it's hard to bounce back after something like that, but it happens to the best of us. Up next, did this young Louisiana man come face to face with a ghost? The shit in his pants may hold clues from the beyond. <laughs> 